So here's a question with NBS and this pi bond. So we see NBS, we should immediately know this does an allylic bromination. So this would add bromines in the allylic position. So there's our alkene, one carbon over is the allylic carbon. Alkene, one carbon over is the allylic carbon. So let's number this system. One, two, three, four. So I'm not going to go through the whole mechanism here, but I'm going to go to an intermediate that we know we're going to end up with because that's what's going to be helpful here. And so let's go to the, the intermediate we know we're going to end up with, one of them. The most likely intermediate would be this, this tertiary allylic radical, right? That make the most stable radical that we could form. Now this, if we draw our resonance form, resonance, our numbers in here, two, three, four, could also do resonance though, right? Now is it, it's possible they would do resonance because it would give a more stable product. So under thermodynamic conditions, this could be possible because we're making a more substituted alkene, right, that date steps rule. So we could have the bromine add on carbon three with the pi bond here. We have the bromine add on carbon one with the pi bond here. So let's draw those two first two products. All right, so if I was looking at this, and again, numbering those atoms, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This, I would feel like, is the most likely situation, because that makes the most, li right, most likelihood intermediate, the tertiary, tertiary allylic radical. I would call this the kinetic product, because it comes from the most stable intermediate. But this would be the thermodynamic product, because it's the most stable product because it has a one, two, three, a, a tri-substituted alkene versus a one, two, di-substituted alkene. Now, there's another complication, which I don't really necessarily agree with, but this could happen. I think this would be the place we take the H right away and we make this most of the time. But let's just say for the sake of argument for, for a problem we're working on, what if we, did a, a, what if we actually pulled the H off of here and made the radical at four? What would that look like? So however unlikely... This could happen if you had enough energy possibly in the system. One, two, three, four. So we could have the bromine add at carbon four, or we could do another resonance structure. Where we get this. One, two, three, four. So what are the two possible products we could make in this situation? So they would lead to the bromine at carbon four. Or the bromine at carbon two. I would consider these two products to be much less likely. But they could be possible. And it could be possible. I can't differentiate between these, between uh, kinetic or thermodynamic, right? Because they're both secondary allylic, secondary allylic. And really, I doubt that this would happen right away. But in the problem they're asking for, they want to see four products. And these would be the two, I would call them the two minor products that might be possible. But the point is, when you make radicals, what, do you know how to do resonance structures? Resonance structures with radicals. That's the key. Numbering your atoms is also the key, of course. Of course. We already knew that.